your computer has over 65,000 digital doors called ports, and hackers only need one open to walk right in. Let's talk about some of the internet's most dangerous ports, the ones hackers love the most. Now, before we get into the scary stuff, let's make sense of what a port even is. Imagine your computer is a giant apartment building with 65,535 doors. Each door leads to a different service like email, file sharing, or web browsing. Most doors are locked or unused, but some are left open. And if a hacker finds an unlocked one, well, it's like free rent. Port 21, FTP, File Transfer Protocol. This is the moving truck of the internet. It transfers files between computers. The problem? It sends usernames and passwords in plain text. So if a hacker's watching, it's like you're handing them the keys with a smile. If you thought that was careless, just wait for the next one. Port 23, Telnet, Teletype Network. Telnet is one of the oldest ways to remotely log into another machine, but it doesn't encrypt anything. That means whatever you type, your login, your commands, hackers can just read directly. And yes, it's still out there, especially on IoT devices like routers and cameras. Port 25, SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. This one is responsible for sending emails. The danger is that if it's left open without proper controls, hackers hijack it to send endless spam or even spread malware. That's why so many email providers restrict or monitor traffic on port 25. This port is used for file and printer sharing on Windows networks. The problem is that when it's exposed to the internet, attackers can exploit vulnerabilities in SMB to access files or spread malware across systems. The infamous WannaCry ransomware outbreak spread globally in 2017 by abusing this very port, shutting down hospitals, banks, and companies. That's why security experts still warn about leaving 445 exposed today. Port 3389, RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. This port lets you control a computer remotely as if you were sitting in front of it. Very useful for IT admins, but when it's open to the internet, attackers can brute force weak passwords or exploit flaws in RDP to take full control of a system. Many ransomware attacks begin right here, through 3389. You might be wondering, why these ports? It's simple. Hackers don't waste time knocking on every single door. They know these are the weak spots, so they automate scans across the internet, checking millions of systems at once. If they find one of these ports open, it's jackpot time. So what can you do? Luckily, it's not rocket science. First, don't expose unnecessary ports to the internet. Most people don't need them anyway. Second, use a firewall. Think of it as a bouncer that decides who gets into the club. Third, keep your systems updated because most of these ports get dangerous when the software behind them is old and unpatched. Basically, don't leave your digital front door wide open with a welcome mat that says, hack me. So next time you're online, remember, the internet has tens of thousands of doors, but hackers only need one left open. Which makes me wonder, if these are the most dangerous ports we know about, how many more are quietly waiting for their moment?